What's up everyone, it's Deltlead and today I'm going to show you how to build engines that can accelerate your spaceships faster than the speed of light. Now before I spill the secrets of interstellar travel to you, I'd first like to thank the supporters who make these videos possible. Thank you to DASX, Stellar Suborbital, GN6, Sentinel Aerospace, Jonathan Winters, Evan Ben 3 and Jacob Daniels. If you'd like to support the channel, then consider becoming a member today. Now, onto the physics braking technology of FTL engines. How do we build an engine that can accelerate our craft past the speed of light without them being absolutely massive and taking forever to accelerate? Well, the answer is actually the most unlikely of engines in the game, the ion engine. Ion engines have very little thrust and take days, if not weeks, to make appreciable changes to your ship's speed. But there is a technique to literally unlock the hidden potential of your ion engines. Now in the last update you might be aware that the tinker panel was changed a little bit. If you look down at the bottom of the tinker panel you'll now see a button called hidden properties. By clicking on that button you open up what was once called the overload mod but is now just called the hidden properties panel. This panel lets you directly edit the XML properties of any craft you have. You can change almost any property of an object using this panel. So, what we are going to do is go to the Ion Engine Hidden Properties panel and you're going to find a page named Engine. Now on the Engine page there are three properties that we will want to take a look at. Electric Consumption, Fuel Consumption, and Fuel Consumption Scale. Electric Consumption is the rate that the Ion Engine uses electric power in joules per second. Fuel Consumption, like Electric Consumption, is the rate that the engine consumes fuel in kilograms per second. Now, the most important number for what we're going to be taking a look at today is called Fuel Consumption Scale. Fundamentally, the ion engines in SR2 give you a flat thrust per unit mass of fuel. The Fuel Consumption Scale is a multiplier. A Fuel Consumption Scale of 2 means the ion engine will produce twice as much thrust per unit mass of fuel consumed. So, if we want an engine that's crazy efficient and generates tons and tons of thrust very easily, all we have to do is crank up the power of this single number and the ion engine will have cosmic levels of thrust. Let's start by adding just a couple of zeros to this scale, maybe make it a million instead of just one, and see what happens. Now immediately our rocket lifts off the ground almost effortlessly. However, we do quickly run out of electric charge. Now, that's because the fuel consumption scale doesn't impact the scale at which electricity is consumed, so for every unit of thrust that we're generating, electricity is still being consumed at the same rate, so we're burning through all of our electricity very, very fast. So what we're going to have to do is go back and tweak the number electric consumption to have a much lower value. Let's set it to be 0.01 joules per second for now. Now when we launch the rocket, it can continue to accelerate until all of its fuel has been consumed and still have plenty of electric charge left over. Now, there is literally no upper limit for how much thrust ion engines can generate using this trick. I only set it to a million now to show you how to do it, but you can, and should, set it to something a whole lot higher if you're intending to make your crafts go faster than the light. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel to get more Simple Rockets 2 content. Now stay safe out there and keep on building.